We are here with hey. the GOAT of hip-hop journalism, which in itself is a bizarre statement to me. <laughs> Yo, I've wanted no, no, to ask no, no, him about no, that for years. We'll get to that. We'll get to we'll get, No, no, but let me add. Here's the funny part. Yeah. Hip-hop and it's journalism. It's Elliot Wilson, by the way. This is ah, Elliot Wilson, Rap Radar. Rap Radar. Hip-hop thank and you. journalism. Yes. It usually doesn't go together. <laughs> There are the hip-hop journalists, yeah, yeah, but they're far and few between. Few and far between. Or well, it's far a dying between. art now. Yeah, it's a dying because art. Because now it's like you put up two sentences. No, you look at Miss Info and me, we're like the last Mohicans of that. Or Kim, that, what that uh, was. Kim Osario yeah. would be in that. Yeah, but it, what, we predate her, though. We predate her like really? early 90s. Yeah, wow, yeah, okay. yeah. Not I didn't the know that. age people. Not right. Oh, age. you mean from being from the original school of people who were actually yeah, writing about Yeah, like rap. reading the source in the late 80s, early 90s, and wanting and to treating work. Treating it like a wanting, real magazine. Like, wanting like to work at the source and, you know, and then record reviews determine how many records were ordered at retail. You know what I mean? You had real power. Power. But like, I think in the journalism, they got four mics in the store, so retailers were ordering more copies of Compton's, most, Compton's most Wanted well, because, because of that. Because of that but cosign. I, I, I that think cosign I'm, meant something. I'm that focused on it. the journalism yeah, yeah. aspect, the re, the research, the correct grammar. Well, that's what that's driving the, me crazy all day with, with Rap Radar is that we're judged to a higher standard that we can't just jump crazy and say Beyonce's pregnant and print it like every other site does. Like shot. we don't do that. You know, Kanye West stuff, you know, we have to be selective. Like, I felt like I got Def Jam to confirm it. Then they called me and was like, no, we didn't confirm it. So I had to retract the got statement. It. And, like, like, we're held to a higher standard. Like, same way Hot Do you like, like that? I mean, I learned how to deal with it. Of course, some days I don't like it because I feel like people do anything for traffic. But that's why I make my, my thing with Rap Radar. It's not about a numbers game anymore. I just want to be impactful and influential. And your site may get more traffic than mine, but I feel like I have a better site. So it's, it's I don't interesting make it a numbers you say that game too, anymore. because the yeah. advertiser... In the advertising community now in the digital space, mm -hmm. while there is a numbers conversation about where they're going to place their ads, a lot of it now is about cool factor. It yeah. is about influence. It's and about I've credibility. And I stuck to that from the beginning. Right. And like, we never joined the ad network, like all the other sites. We didn't join the complex network. And those are my boys, like Noah. Those are my boys. But we decided from jump, I was like, because I think with XXL, I was so much about numbers. And I would look up like, this Buster Rhymes cover and the source sold this and Kanye doesn't sell magazines for whatever reason. I would research everything. And every every decision I made was based on numbers. And I was like, when I'm doing this internet shit, I just want to reinvent myself, have fun with it, and not be going crazy looking up my numbers every day. Like well, how many views I got. And it's interesting you, you say know? that as a as a as a director and a boss, because everything we do here is obviously numbers based because we're in the rating. And that's game. how I ran my company for but many years. Do you feel yeah. like that in running a company that way? Give us both sides. Like, well, I think the business has shifted my way. Like you said, right. now advertisers are starting to understand it's not just about the numbers anymore. And I think people manipulate their numbers. And also, if you know, if you keep blogging any kind of ratchet nonsense every five, ten minutes, you're going to get a shitload of traffic. If you put up every rapper that's hungry out there's music, you're going to get a shitload of traffic. You put up 50 posts a whoa, day, whoa, you're going to get just, traffic. He just got at a lot of shots. A lot of sites. <laughs> right well, hold on, hold on. Machine Machine gun was like, funk. bow, boxer, <laughs> bow, world star. No, everybody. Brah, no, brah. They, I mean, if, if you do, we try. In flex, we trust. Blah. Well, but listen, but no, LA, no, but some do it well, and like that's their lane. I just know what my lane is, like, and it's not trying to like out traffic you. It's I know what the, our lane is, and we're judged by that. Like I said, anyhow, like I can't step out and do certain things and say certain things and be reckless. Like the reason I can hear J Cole's album, or the reason like you hear Mac Miller's album is because they trust us, and we're not gonna go run and blow up information. To get attention or to get you know traffic views or get more Instagram there, followers or more Twitter followers. There are things that irritate me about Rap Radar. Like there are things that irritate me about everything. Mm -hmm. But I will say consistently, You're irritable. I'm an irritable guy. Okay. <laughs> you but guys I, don't sleep a lot. Of course, you should exactly. be exactly. You should be cranky. But consistently, <laughs> but consistently, it's the one I go to the most because I feel that you guys cover the ground between the most. Necessary underground, though of course you missed up because you don't get everything. Yeah, we laid on things and, then and then we to, admit it. And yeah. I'll go to Nah Right sometimes for that, for yep. like more of the songs or two dope boys. Yep. But consistently, the biggest news from a place that I know once you run it, it's credible, mm -hmm. is what Rap Radar is. And Thank it's done you. a nice job. I appreciate job that. With it. I appreciate so, well, that. I think with anything that you uh, engage with or have a relationship with, whether it's a brand or an individual, you're going to have things you like and things you don't like. Of course. And if there's, n if you are, if you have a relationship with something and you love everything it's about terrible. it. It's terrible. It's whack. It's not. I always say when it's you do, not when official. You do, whenever it's not you used official. to do a mag, when I used to do XXL and whenever the artist just really loved the cover and it was like, thank you so much. You really looked out for me. Fuck. Uh, that shit ain't going to sell nothing. Right. That, <laughs> that means it's shit. Uh, that means it's shit. They a wanna, you want them that's to be upset brick. with it. The nigga want to choke you after? It's, oh, that's going to sell a 40. It's moving out here. It's sounding like crack in the 80s. I'm like I'm the, I buy crystal bottles for everybody. I'm like we move it out here, you know. So so the 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 greatest <laughs> of all time in hip hop journalism is that a is that do you do that 
as I do agitated. It as motivation. It's, it's, more of it's, a, it's the idea. Like I mean, I, I, last time I've been on hot, I went with um Khaled. And you know, Khaled is motivation all the time, and he's a fool. And Flex, obviously too. Flex is an influence, and just you know, just being a veteran and still just having that hunger to still be viewed as the best at what you do. You know, I have that same kind of gene. Um, so I felt like whenever people look at hip hop history, they don't really give me my due. For I, I did Ego Trip. I did XXL, I did all these things that people thought, you know, whenever you lose, you know, one part of your career, they think you're over. You know, hip-hop, you fell off. True. He'll never come back, XXL. Like, they, they knocked him off the mountain, he'll never come back. And then people fronted on Rap Radar and didn't know what it was going to be. And then I earned it. And then I went and created Respect Magazine and went to Respect Magazine. And now I got an interview series called Crown where I'm paying people and people paying to watch me interview. And obviously, Noisemakers was an influence on that. And those, cause, So I studied the game, and I feel like, but if you look at my resume and everything I've done, I got to be one of the great ones. But I feel like my name never came up, so I'm just going to put See, myself out there. that's what makes him so crazy and, and like it. Flex, yeah. because... You just say it. No, but it's so clear. I feel like the way But they don't want to give it up clear. when it's so clear. But they don't want to say it. No, no but, one has conversations but, but, about but it. Let me, let me tell you guys something. <laughs> and I learned this because I work at Hot 97. <laughs> When you are very influential, right, the individuals that will give you props are usually people that you compete with in some way, shape, yes. or form. So they're not really going to tell you that yeah, you how great you are, great you are because they're trying to take you <laughs> yes. out. And, and not, they inspire and not, me. They win sometimes. Right. But, and, but like they're, not trying, to, overall, they're yeah. not trying to take you out in a malicious way. No, no, no. It's just a it's nature the of the beast. Iverson Jordan, they want to cross you over It's a nature day. of the beast. Yeah, they want their moment. The people that matter the most, I think you hear from, right? You hear from the fans that read, the people who follow you on Instagram, the people mm -hmm. You follow on Twitter. You hear from those people about uh, how great and how influential you are. But correct? I did it by the base of claiming that I had to change my Twitter bio and just say I'm the goat. Fuck it. Like from this day forth, I'm the so best. So you don't think the reader would have <laughs> ever gave you props either? No, some will. Some of the informed people. That, but then there's people that love certain parts of your career. There's some people that think Ego Trip. They love that part of it. The rap list book and the underground. Where we're from, the '90s, and they 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 revel in that, and they wish they could have been part of what that was like. Like Cypher DJ and for Little Kim and. Me, you know, writing a, a review of Nas is Illmatic and those kind of things. They miss that and they glorify those things and they wish they could have been part of it. So they judge it by that standard and they just look at, well, you're a sellout, you're in the 2000s and, you know, you should have, you should be dealing with that side of the culture and just interviewing the veterans and not really worrying about the, the new shit. Tyler, the creator and these, all these crazy new kids who, you know, are very talented and they have their flaws too and they're all growing. But I embrace the new generation. My thing is I'm going to be the OG. I'm going to be more about the youth and embracing them. But like, like Rosenberg said though, still judging them by a standard. Everybody can't get on Rap Radar. Everybody can't get in the club. You know what I'm saying? You can't let everybody yeah, in. Hold on, let me go somewhere. Oh, this is can good. You, this is you going in my direction. Yeah, you can't let can everybody you, in. Can you Which pull, is why me and you were on the same page with that when you and B. When the minors and the man. Can you pull, yeah, yeah, yeah. pull B. Dot aside to him and explain <laughs> to him what good rap sounds like? Just have a no, conversation. No, but see, that's the beauty of Rap Radar is that he represents a certain mentality. The people who don't know what good rap sounds and, like. Yeah, but he liked Macklemore, though. Yeah, he did see Macklemore oh, I know, first. I know he did see that first because he went to a live show and he saw Shout out to B. Dot. Got that Macklemore. He got that one right. And I love Macklemore. No, Kendrick, he saw Kendrick. How many posts of Thrift Shop Live do I need to see on <laughs> Yo, fam, do, is it jerk off material? How many times do I need to see? No, Thrift we want to claim it though. We want to claim it though because everybody, no, nope, people still are having a hard time embracing that guy's success. And he was still wrong success. for having him as high as he did last year. He was still wrong. Why do you say that? So last, tell me, tell me what happened because I'm, I'm just well, trying that to follow. That was outside. Along. You talking about the Al Lindstrom thing? That was yeah, an outside. Yeah, he did thing. With so, Al Lindstrom, so, where he had him as the rookie of the year. Or something. Yeah, this is Mac Lamar. Yeah, yeah. It was the rookie of the year according to B Dot at Rap Radio. Yes, okay. for the Al Lindstrom poll. For what we did was, I remember he came back. He saw Al. He saw Mac Lamar do a show in New York and it was sold out and Macklemore's a great live performer and now, but wait, came back and said yo Rosenberg's beefing with a guy that has a number one two, hit, two, two number, number one hits yeah no, first and time in charge. First time in charge. How are you saying was wrong? Dude, he's, he's right on paper. Sure, it looks like that, but Macklemore wasn't the best of the artists that came out. <laughs> but since <laughs> what? Since what? But well, having number one hit songs well, that don't make you the best? To, not to me. I will say in defense of Rosenberg, the success has kind of come more. Even though it came out last fall, these records have gone big time this year. So look at in, the time of that, Elliot, Elliot I got just like <laughs> Elliot, look at look at me, <laughs> Elliot, look at me on some on some on some director me, on some director shit. Yeah. There's times where you look across the office at B dot and go, fam. The fuck oh, we up. argue all day. That's hip hop, though. That's hip hop. Rosenberg, day. same shit. No, yeah. Cypher and yeah, I yeah. look at him sometimes yeah. and go, "Oh, he's left with it. The fuck he's up. left with it." But there yeah. have to be. But that's Rosenberg's role, though. But there, no, I, we love yeah, him for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, but to me, I don't think there's a basis. Like, for example, 
when when B dot said throws random tweets out about <laughs> Dilla being overrated. That's just a fucking fuck with people or show. Like, no, for he example, really believes that. But but, but that, it's not, that that's shows not a lack of knowledge and respect a, for the culture. That's, no, it's also a, a provocative is it an opinion. Is it's it a opinion? provocative thing to say. It's, a, you it's an intentionally it's, provocative opinion. You're not like a Dilla fan, but he really believes it. But he really believes it. You just say it's not my thing. But he really believes it. But maybe he's also saying in a harsher tone because he wants that attention. That's what. That's the part that bothers me. That's what he believes. What's wrong with that? He's not home. Yeah, he's not home pumping Dilla. And really secretly likes it He doesn't He you doesn't get it he doesn't connect to you it. You should respect the culture enough that if so many people, including all the all the people we respect in the culture, have put this guy up for but a see, pedestal, don't that, intentionally but, try to no, shit but on him. No, he speaks to that thing, and I think you hold that sometimes too. Where I, where I was talking about earlier is that you know, B Dot loved that moment when Fifty Cent just took over the game, and he grew up in Queens, and like rappers dressing that way, and, and Carhartts, and like oh, so do rags, do rags, and, and, and now the, yeah. the look what look at what a rap star looks like today. They don't necessarily have that look, so he he miss he thinks that certain essences of hip hop are missing. So he's critical and hypercritical because. He doesn't feel satisfied by what's going on now and future and these type of artists, and he wishes it was these type of alternatives to it. Well, listen, I, and I, I think I, a lot of people share that sentiment. And I, I try to go the opposite way, where it's like I'm going to try to understand this. I'm not saying I can rock with everything, but I'm going to try to understand this. And I still have the history, and I still have those things. It's not an either I, or. And, with and me. Let me let me be clear. I don't dislike the kid. I'm, I'm, she loves the shit. Yeah. I know that. And we just but, call him a kid. Well, he's younger just, than me. I'm old. <laughs> but, yo, he's son of yeah, B-Dot. I've been so good. Beat out, yo, B-Dot, you're not going to let this happen, right? <laughs> but I'm saying sometimes God. sometimes people, when we get in these conversations about what is the place of bloggers, sometimes there are people who are at a level where their voice is very loud, and I don't but think they've done the research to like. be there. But he has, like they haven't you, necessarily done the research in the game to be there. I know, but you know what validates that? People like you and Ebro. Ebro validated oh, Ebro, boy I and know, put the battery in the pack. That helped my business, but Ebro took him on. And I'm like, oh, I'm so, back like, yo, oh, shit. Like, I'm, I'm like, oh shit. I'm gonna tell you the inside on that, right? <laughs> so the inside on that, I saw that as like the biggest alley oop ever, right? Because <laughs> at a, at a moment for Hot 97, it's always about are we real enough and are we this <laughs> enough? And I was like, yo, this dude is gonna give me this alley oop right here because not only does it put a spotlight on my dog right here because that's what he does, right? Mm -hmm. It puts a spotlight on the station. It gets everyone talking about this debate. It get ra it gets rappers talking and Rap now. Radar too. <laughs> and the rap radar too, and rap radar too, and now yeah. it fast forward, right? You would think, you, you you think that we planned it out. No, 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 bullshit. But, I, but no, I saw I had no clue. No, I'm like, why is Ebro going out? No, with because like, no, what's because what's going on? Because I wanted I'm like, the clean end that result. Shit up. <laughs> I wanted the end result. I wanted the end result of an action Bronson getting on Flex's tape. Yeah. I wanted the end result of a Joey Badass Action Bronson All these kids on on the festival stage I don't know I still don't consider them Major League I no, think I they you. got great buzz But, you but like, I hope get that the more spotlight opportunities. Well let's no get, we've always done that it. But I want, yeah. the, I want people to You want to galvanize you want I want people to fight for something yeah. I want people to feel like Yo fuck Ebro He did this and he that Well alright motherfucker Fight for it then You want this real rap shit Go out and pay for tickets to a show mm -hmm. Go out and buy an album Go out out and do something that a business yeah. can look at it and go, you know what? This shit is moving and it, it's economically viable, right? And now these kids have a career. Now a live nation at AEG wants to put them on tour because people are buying tickets, right? And these are the things that executives that make business decisions look at and say, yo, this might be something. And as yeah. a result, the culture can actually improve and there's more. No, we're being music proactive. We want that change like I talked about, but what are we doing to get that change? So if I'm the antagonist, records, if I'm the antagonist know? for change, I'm comfortable in that position. Because when you make a decision just like yourself mm -hmm. and people who critique Elliot Wilson for what he posts on Rap Radio or his comments or mm -hmm. support of mainstream rap or whatever yeah. ratchetness you want people you want to provoke that dialogue that's if that dialogue that's doesn't happen that's it's hip -hop. not hip hop one and two the culture dies because nobody's fighting for it but did you do it with him because it, it could have been anybody or was it also because he's beat out from Rap Radar and it, or just everything just came together perfectly? I think, yeah, it was just, perfect, he threw the yeah. alley-oop yeah. and I hear, and I would hear Rosenberg be like, yo, fucking beat dot <laughs> And then I would hear people be like, yo, Rap Radar. And I was like, yeah. you know me, I'm, that's why I call myself <laughs> old man Ebro. I'm just sitting back like, oh, that's who everybody don't like? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's step in. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. No, like, and I think it was great for, I, I think I, it was great for both brands, actually. It was yeah, no, It's I almost like it. it was, we had a crazy marketing meeting and we planned it out. No, right, it's tight. It's tight. And it's helped the culture. I think it ultimately has up the culture. And again, I I was more agreement of your viewpoint of it. You have to earn your spot. Like I don't think that you're ignoring all these five New York records and not putting them in rotation. You know, I thought the ASAP Ferg record work started to build to be that, but there wasn't like at that moment five records that Ebro wasn't playing and 
programming that were New well, York no. records and you were fronting on. But the, you know there's what I mean? the and but that's, that's always the fight. I'm gonna tell you something. The theory that I have that's fucking up hip hop. This is fucking up hip hop. Your cousin, your brother, your sister, niece, nephew, whatever, whoever the fuck they are, does not deserve to be a rapper. Just because you have a desire to do something does not mean you deserve to get attention unless you work mm -hmm. to get just like any other craft. But it's easier to look like you're working because now you could just get your music out so quickly without any but kind of But I'm not falling of for that. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, bullshit. I, that's how I always feel. That's how people always fall for it. Oh, it yeah. seems like it. That 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 trick, that behind the Wizard of Oz thing is like Well, but you remember in the era that you were working at Fat Beats, right? Yeah. And and that I was obsessed with indie hip hop. The level of work you had to put in to get to the point where you just pressed up a 12 inch exactly. with the cover. And that, that he would display it prominently. And that cycle Or play it on a turntable and say you should buy this. That yeah. was work to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 And yeah. Simple, simple. You had to have money to go to the studio and you would try to have your raps perfect which meant practice, so that which when you get to the studio the you're not crazy. Yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you cannot walk into a studio and waste and five I'm hours hanging out while smoking I'm weed and shit. So it is <laughs> it's a hard part with that. When I meet these kids, even the ones I like, honestly, who are like 18, 19 years old, and I see them in their studio doing shit and they got Pro Tools, I love a lot of them, but I'm like, do y'all know how many people I know who are better than you, worked harder, cared about it more, and never got this look because they were pre-internet era. They were just fighting to make a 12-inch. They put out their 12-inch, it would get some college radio play, they do a few dates, and that's mm -hmm. it. That was all that could happen. But now, the right motherfucker spots on the internet, Rap Radar throws your video up, we, you know, all mm -hmm. of a sudden, Shit looks different, and these but you gotta still. Gassed. But we still gotta find our favorites in it, like well, Tyler's to and Action Bronson. We gotta find the guys that well, we think geniuses are still something. out there working, yeah. and it, and we have to inspire them, push them, everything. That type of relationship, or disagree with them, exactly. And challenge bring them into the, and the bring them into the arena. Too, bring them into the arena. The other part of this too is the like, and I fight for this. The musical aspect of it. Yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Some what you're of you motherfuckers, but again, it's the same thing. Do not. Understand melody, but you could being garage band pocket. it real quick. Boom. Yeah, but yeah. that but you don't. I can tell that you don't get it. So when I listen to you, I don't give a fuck how much buzz you have. I can hear that you don't. But they're understand. missing that studio experience, like he said. You yeah, come that's in prepared. Work. That's where it comes in. You only know how to really hear yourself if you're in a real facility and you're really hearing something. And you got a real engineer and you got a I'm real sorry. producer. And, uh, right? and the the. Uh, the aspect of now nobody being an A and R. Yeah, you can't A and R. That, that aspect of hip hop is gone. Is dead. That, Nobody's telling Kanye what record he's gonna put out on the Def Jam. They're saying thank you, Mr. West, for giving us your product. No, I know who you're thank telling. You. I'm, I'm gonna tell. But, <laughs> but somebody I'm gonna in there who's telling you who's telling them. I'm gonna tell you who's telling them. I'm gonna tell you who's telling them. When the DJs ain't running your shit. That's who's telling you. Yeah, when your shit gets played on Hot 97, we run it for a few weeks and the audience <laughs> don't respond. That's who's telling you. Right? That's so what you I'm would, you would be blind. better off asking people that you trust before you go out and put out a record that people don't respond to. Because I'm going to tell you what, motherfuckers get mad at me all the time and be like, yo, that shit is trash, B. I'm going <laughs> to let the audience I'll let the audience judge, but I don't like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there's certain artists who deserve a look. Mm -hmm. Hope puts out the record. It's Jay Z. Of course we're going to play it. The mm -hmm. audience is going to tell us. The look. He it's earned over. the look. It's done. Yeah. If you're a nobody, you don't deserve shit. <laughs> well, That's it. And Elliot, I bet you have the same experience that I do. A lot of these artists coming up, I tell them right from the jump. I literally volunteer my services. I'm just like, hey, listen, I don't have anything to gain from you. Maybe we'll do a show together one yeah. day or something. But really, if you need anything, you want me to hear your shit, I'm not going to leak it. Send me songs. Let me hear shit. They don't. They no, they want to get it out. Like, yeah, they, oh, you, this is not good. You, you classic just, labels will have the artists will be up at the labels. They'll have a meeting about how they're going to roll out the project. You know, have the thing, they, and then in the middle of the night they'll just get high and just put the shit out. I know. Like two in the that morning. That was their plan. Like, all day you strategize what you were going to do your rollout, and then using the studio and all your boys is like, this shit sounds dope. Send it out to everybody free in the morning. <laughs> That's like SoundCloud. The, this everybody is what we enjoy live in. it. You know, what, you know what they're drunk they're drunk with the power of you know it's the same thing with, with Twitter and these things you can get your thoughts out right away you can say whatever you want if I tweet it right now I can't stay Ebro he's a sucker nigga like he's a sucker ass everybody like, oh Elliot and Ebro have beef blah, blah. you can get whatever you want out In there they're drunk with that it's power like, of it they're drunk like the with the drunk, power of it's just like a drunk it out. dial yeah it's a drunk it's dial like, to the world it's everything, like everything yeah. just, you just punch it up and it goes my out my shit's hot I'm gonna send it out right now fuck I don't need anybody I'm sending it right to the people you didn't even give it 24 hours Fuck you didn't even give it bro. 25 hours right yeah. around in your car. Yeah. See if it sounds Fuck right. You just Rosenberg, Fuck Cypher. They all said my shit was like. Yo, let me tell out. you, and let me tell you something too. <laughs> if you're putting out shit and you're talking to the people who already love you, 
and asking them what they think. Oh, you find right. out you only retweet the 50 people on Twitter that love anything you do and you ignore all the people saying you suck. Yeah. And your ad replies. You only retweet the ones like you create a positive world yeah, but fuck on even, your timeline even where. Retweets, you even in retweets. Even in retweets. Like, <laughs> or any of that bullshit. If you're only listening to people who are going to agree with you, if you're an yeah. artist at any level, you have to be and challenged. the only people around you are people who, li who literally. Yes, man. Ha They're on your payroll. And die You're on your payroll. By agreeing with you. What they we cannot do now, feed boy? their children. <laughs> right? If that's the only like shit you got, you're fucked We's up. He's hungry. Yo, so, <laughs> so Elliot, let's let's ask Elliot about a couple Elliot things. Number one, there Elliot it is. Thinks. The laugh. The laugh. Let's talk about the laugh, man. This is like you know. getting a, you getting abused on this fucking thing. The laugh you know, thing is crazy. That man. people love talking about Elliot's laugh. And I don't. I didn't realize I had a laugh. I was like, I, I started telling people X. like, did I laugh at XXL? Like nobody. Nobody told me I had a laugh, but no, I started doing radio stuff, fooling around. Then it became a thing like, yo, your laugh is crazy. And like, and people would just talk about it. And then it's like, then I did record, we recorded like a laugh drop of me doing a laugh. And like, you know, I could laugh on cue, but then generally when I do laugh, I laugh in a loud type of way. But like, I wasn't, I was never cognizant of it, but I think being on, being on the air, just being out there. Then I start being like, oh shit, hearing myself. You know, I know some of my strengths are I'm a, a really good interviewer, but I talk over people, which is bad for radio. Like I'll interrupt. Like I, like I sort of. So I felt too. the I felt like, like the, yeah, I felt like the laugh. All the time. Exactly. I felt like the laugh talking over each other. Just like know, that. All this stuff. Moving the microphone away from your mouth. Exactly. I do. All, so I, my thing was like to break all the rules and my loud ass obnoxious laugh, and it just I don't know. It's, and sometimes I do like when I interview Drake and people heard that. It's like sometimes I laugh because I'm actually also kind of nervous. Like I didn't know what I was gonna get. Like I didn't expect him to give me that much access to that long of an interview so i'm trying to fill it out and i'm laughing bit. it's a stall tacket it's a pause thing and then it's just i'm also just reveling in the moment like fuck i got drake in this little rinky dink internet you know east village radio thing he's here like oh shit like this i pulled this shit and i do like that and then so i'm i'm happy in the moment too like like i'm, I'm trying not to be the old jaded guy like i'm trying to find my my fun in this shit and it, look the joy the that, enjoyment the I don't joy that people it. have and probably uh the way they uh revere you is because you're just human yeah. right so you know people try to get on camera and that cool or they get on mics and that cool and all that but when you're just a regular person that has you know something to offer the yeah. fan and you're vulnerable and all that people don't love that shit yeah and i think that that's to pick up on that and i guess the laugh is a part of that but again it's not always just this laugh like i'm on top of the world it's a laugh just sometimes it's, it's like, like an evil is it an evil ha, ha, laugh ha, ha. sometimes no, it is sometimes it's crazy. it is it's not it's like uh, what did jeff rosenthal the best line about your laugh you heard about it right no no the line no, no. Jeff rosenthal, uh -uh. Heard about it? no what was it we were at the roast. We both got at you at the roast a couple times. Oh, I heard you always, you yeah, always we, gave we me the roast. I don't know what it specifically was said, but they said, yo, you caught it funny. at the roast. I, was I like, said, I said, Elliot I'm like, Wilson. nobody videotaped it? I, said, nobody Elliot, I, I like, think I said, Elliot Wilson. I was like, Wilson. where's the video? I think I said, Elliot Wilson <laughs> um, couldn't be here tonight. Um, he's he's had a Rick Ross sign surgically uh, implanted on his face. <laughs> and he's walking around Times Square advertising the album. Then Jeff said, he was like, Elliot Wilson, your laugh is so crazy. You like you just dropped a single and had an affair with DJ Envy, <laughs> which I thought was pretty fucking funny. No, Meaning, but that's nothing too. The whole culture we're in, where you're either a dick rider, you're a hater. Like you know, you can't support something, or you're a right. dick rider. Like, or if you disagree, you know, you're a hater. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you right now. Yeah. I think the more common thing with Elliot is mm -hmm. dick rider. All day. For me, it it's was hate. dick rider, and now it's <laughs> hater, and I miss dick rider. <laughs> Haters annoying as shit. Everyone who sits down with me is like, "What's up, Rosenberg?" Oh, I'm like, they're automatically I didn't do anything. And I'm like, I really, truth be told, in hip hop, I often am a dick rider because I love this shit. Yeah, so yeah. That's Yo, my you're right though. Position. You're right. And you're right. You're now you're like and now, now you're the, the evil guy. And I'm like, now I'm, your reality shows arguing with DJs and yeah. you're shrill and all that this part. Stuff. I'll take. I'll take. I'll own that. I'm so confused. <laughs> Game got How weird. you doing with Slife, Slife? How are you, baby? My life is pretty good, man. You're married and shit. Y'all are grown, man. This is man. all like... Grown was trying to be like you. This is all been so like, in like a specific one world. Guest, too. Like, yeah. and, then, and now one scene is always about a guest. Every one of scene is like, let me yeah. interview some rapper from the 90s. See, like. but that's what I like. <laughs> that is something I do like about Elliot, though, that like... He's nerdy enough to appreciate that even with one Epstein, he takes pride in no, being I'm the first you, guest on one so Epstein. I'm gonna tell you I when you first you started. You a, I stepped to you. When you it. first started your well, rap radar, I know it used to annoy us more him. <laughs> like if I did like the throwback at noon or something, and it was an ill one, he would just write to you, send audio. Oh, he's the worst email in the world. <laughs> 
Visa. <laughs> Yo, Sife, what up? I like that mix. Can you send it over? Yeah, I'm just like, let's get up with a no, sign. No, I'm L- like, just right. I'm like, send audio. I'm helping y'all. I'm like, send one Listen, of the airwaves out there. Elliot like, in person, love him. In email, fucking the oh, worst. I'm the quicker. And I no, hate getting no, on the phone. Don't you hate getting, I hate no, getting on the phone. No, but you don't respond to emails either. I'll throw you six times, no response. No, here's the thing with you. No, Rosenberg, Rosenberg goes hard. Rosenberg goes hard when it's something that he wants to push. That's his shit. Of course. That's turn Molly. He's going to email you eight times all day. He's going to email yes. the guy that takes out the garbage yes. from Rap Radar. For everyone. B-Dot. Everybody's in. We're all harassing. We're all sitting there trading emails with each other like, yo, Rosenberg's going so hard with this video. Like, and then, let's and just then, put it up later. Let's, let's make it wait. <laughs> No, but Elliot, like you're any better. Elliot doesn't write me an email for six months. It's not a prime time post, baby. It's not a prime time post. Oh, we get you in there. Let's talk about the prime time post fight. Let's not, because there are days Uh, when I have interviews that don't go up, and I see some of the behind the scenes uh, video shit. Listen, let me tell you something right now. I don't need another French Montana behind the scenes of the video. That is not news. That is not anything. I'm in stores now. Excuse my French, May 21st. Excuse my French. Love French. Except with the exception of the Nikki titty behind the scenes, no one cares about behind the scenes. The, scenes. The, the interesting thing about this, right, is I watch what Rap Radar posts, what they don't post, what we put out, what they don't put up, blah, blah, blah. I assume if it's not about rap or hip hop, they're not going to put it up. Like, so I don't, I don't even, I don't even send Incorrect. it. Incorrect. There is random shit that goes up. That well, is rarely, rarely. But there's. But your thing was a rap parody. Obviously, it's rap. I wasn't it's a offended that you guys took a day. I was happy No, but you, you go so day. hard. Like with those kind of things. That's I not a parody. It's a real song. Yeah. <laughs> It's rap about to turn up Molly it's a and turn up twins. It's a Tina turn up is a, a real. It's a real thing. Song and, like, I'm sorry. Redo the lyrics. Yeah, oh, that's, that's an original, original song. That's, that's true. true. That's true. It's original. Just say it. All right, technicality. Listen, <laughs> rap radar. <laughs> technicality. This is our guy Elliot and Wilson. Crown. He's got a. Uh, cr- is it Crown? It's Crown. It's it was not conversations, conversations with real niggas, which was C. You like that rap he, niggas? You, rap you, niggas, you yeah. retweeted me. Like I thought. Okay, I want to do this thing where like I feel like my interviews are better. What do I do? My interviews are good because I turn it into conversations with artists. Conversations with rap niggas and I like CWRN, like a fake ESPN. I just start making things I up. I like that. I liked it too, but then my partner Jesse who does the new agency booking things. He was like, Well, you know, the niggas that. thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't yeah, say yeah. the end stuff words. out here. No, it's so then I just kind of flipped whoever, the crown and whoever, now whoever like consulted you on the crown. Good thing. The other well, thing yeah, was, that was that was before Ross and Wayne and all that. But, but, for, <laughs> the original, but for the original heads, conversations that know what crown niggas. stands yeah. for. It's conversations with rap niggas. You're real niggas. All Rap of Elliot's niggas. shit has the N word. J. Cole. Shit. Yellow nigga. Why? Yeah, Everything why? Well, that was the other. thing. Like, I woke up one day and I was like, okay, I'm not XL anymore, but I'm still YN. Like, people call me YN on the street. I'm like, I'm still YN. I'm still yellow nigga. What does that mean? Okay, so I'm yellow nigga. So I'm YN. I'm going to start Rap Radar. And it's going to be in yellow and black. And it's just. And like, when's his crown thing? Oh, my God. When's the- <laughs> it's the sicko shit, right? <laughs> Who's when- sicker? Me or Flex? Who's more competitive and sick? Me or Flex? You guys are very Flex. similar. You guys have <laughs> some similarities. No. So when's the J. Cole? When's the J. Cole That's next crown Tuesday, shit? man. Highline Ballroom, man. Highline Ballroom. Yeah. And tickets are where? And Pete has been supportive, man. It's just like a fake noisemaker. So I'm just trying to be me out here. I'm trying to do <laughs> No, you know what I said to him? <laughs> you know what I said to him? I said to you, brother, the next day, I said, listen, you know I think I'm the greatest interview in the world. So I'll, I'll always think I'm the best. I yeah. was like, but this guy's product that he put together is just well fucking done. Yeah, like, Tyler thing, yeah. You yeah. honestly took what I was doing and took it to another I also level. want to favor more, like we were saying earlier, to bring the difference. Because I was like cognizant of it. Like, how do I make it different than what Peter was doing? Because I have great respect for it. You know, I'm gonna do more like the newer artists, more out the gate than when you know you did a lot did of the a lot. legends. That's what I do. I still do legends. Premier, yeah, like Quan- yeah, more of the legend lane. So, so will we one day see on RapRadar.com a noisemaker post right next to a Bring CRN. Noisemaker back. What's He'll always, on? He always posts. No, he didn't even noisemakers. That's the thing. I Elliot, went to noisemakers. I attended into, video. Yeah. The shit that he's into. <laughs> yeah, that's all I get. Send audio. Nah, send audio. Send audio. Send audio. ASAP. ASAP. Yo, Elliot Wilson, RapRadar. Thanks, bro. Thank you, guys.